Hello everybody! Welcome to my Shabby Craft Studio. I am so grateful you're here. I'm Martha and this is the Journal to Inspire Project prompt number eight. We did seven last week and this is prompt number eight chosen by Carol. And this is decorate at least three or more pages in your journal using at least two of the following. Remember, stretch your limits. Gesso, watercolor, inks, acrylic paint, markers, colored pencils, stamps, pencils, sprays, and pens. Now this simply means decorate your page and you only have to use two of these, but if you want to use more, then go for it. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very simple and fast. And the other thing I want you to know is, for me, this book is going to be kind of hard to do anything in because it's lumpy. <laughs> the pages are lumpy. So I did, um, I just sewed this page here. But then I thought, it's going to be really hard to work on. It doesn't lay flat. And it's not going to be easy to stamp because it's lumpy under there because there's a pocket here. And it's just going to be difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate my page using these things. But I'm going to do them on a separate piece of paper. Um, I also thought I would do maybe this page and this page. Haven't decided yet. I could do that page. I could do part of this pocket. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're not holding you. I could do this part here. We're not holding you to, a, you know, this isn't we're going to come police you. This is so that you'll stretch your limits. Um, if you're going out of your comfort zone with any of these prompts, that's exactly what we want you to do. Now, I am going to put my prompt right over here so I can see it <laughs> because I forget things easily. Now, here's an example of some, oopsies, of some things that I did, and I did these last year sometime. I was playing with watercolors and ink. So I did these on watercolor paper because it's really thick and that's what it's made for. They aren't great. I am no artist, trust me. I know I cannot draw worth a dang. So what I did was I just put the color on there. Um, I put the initial color on here. I drew around that. It was no particular shape. It was just scribbled on there, kind of like this. And then I drew around it with a pen eh, or a marker. I love these Micron markers. Um, so that's my favorite. You can use a Sharpie, you can use a, a ballpoint pen. Um, and then I just sort of followed this, you know, or these I started in the middle and I'll show you that. So you can just do this just loosely. I mean, cause the, the more complicated you make it, the harder it is. So I just do this <laughs> because as I said, I am no artist. I can't draw worth a dang. But I love these loosely interpreted flowers. You know, they don't have a name. <laughs> They're not a certain kind. They might look like something you know, but, you know, it wasn't meant to be that way. So I'm just going to come out this way a little more. There, that's my flower. And then you could go, you know, around this as well. Now, it's been a while since I did this. Now, literally, I can take this and I can tear it out and put it on my page and use it as a flower. Um, you can see some of these are a lot more uh, tried to be more specific with them. Uh, these I really like, actually. <laughs> these are a little, some are okay and some are not so great. But, you know, even this sort of abstract one there came out okay. And that's just another one that I did. So, you can do that and decorate your pages with them. I'm going to not cheat and use those because, you know, 
I shouldn't, <laughs> but if you have them, do it. Go for it. Now, this is really thick watercolor paper. This is a drawing paper. I picked up a pad of drawing paper. Don't even remember from where. Uh, probably got it on sale somewhere, but I don't know where I got it from. Uh, but there it is. It's a nice big pad of drawing paper. It's not as thick. And of course, it's not waterproof. Now, the other thing I did was I took regular 24 pound copy paper and I pre gessoed it because, you know, you're not going to want to wait for it to dry and I don't want to have to use the uh, heat gun. Um, but yeah, so it's still damp and I don't have a problem if some of that gets on this drawing paper. So there's that and it's, it's still damp. So I cannot use that one right now. Um, I would like to use that to see how it comes out. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes, even if I have to turn the camera off and let it dry. I might try some watercolor on here. Um, if not, I have gel pens, I have stamps, and that's the other thing. You can take, if you're like me and you feel like you can't draw, I have stamps to use. So why not? I mean, just use a big stamp and then color it in because you can. Oh, I already took my ink pad out. This is I have a th I have a thing about things that smell and the stays on smells awful to me. Some people love it. And they're like, "Ooh, I love the smell of this." Not me. <laughs> All right. Now I'm not going to do it right near the edge. I have a bad habit of being conservative with my stuff, but I don't want to do this right near the edge because I want to be able to probably tear around it. Why is that not coming out? <laughs> Am I not doing something right? I think the stays on pad is inked weird. Ever since I bought it, it's like part of it doesn't really ink very well. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to do one more. I don't care if it's not showing up real well. I mean, we're going to do other things to it, so it's okay. Okay, Whew. time to put that away. Stays on ink and, um, where can I stamp this off? Stays on ink and uh, the glue, uh, this stuff, <laughs> Fabri-Tac. Don't like the smell of them. Actually, they make me feel quite icky. But, <laughs> sorry, just took a big whiff. phew all right. <laughs> We're just going to put that back. There we go. Now I don't have to smell anything. All right. So I have watercolors and I have, I dug my gel pens out from the basement, but there's no guarantee any of them will work. That one looks like it's like, I don't know if they got cold or whatever. I mean, the basement is climate controlled, but they look kind of funny. Like some of them evaporated or something. So I don't know if we'll use those or not. Haven't tried them since I brought them upstairs. Please don't fall. Because if you fall, <laughs> then I have to pick you up. All right. Some things are complicated. I did see where somebody, oopsies, it always falls apart too. Where somebody, I'm going to see if I have a better brush than the one that comes in here. Online, um, on Facebook this morning. I don't know, I, they probably don't watch my channel, but but they um they dumped their ink dauber, you know, the thing you ink with, with the, the wooden handle and stuff. They dumped that in their um, coffee cup. What a way to ruin a good cup of coffee, huh? Decisions, decisions are the hardest, as our Rachel says. I agree with her. Load the brush up and okay. And I'm not worried about staying in the side the lines because that's part of the fun of this is you get to be a little wild and crazy if you want to be. I did use stays on ink if you use a Tim Holtz oxide or ink it will run with the water so don't go there get yourself a permanent ink if you're going to stamp and then watercolor 
this paper is definitely absorbing up this color really a lot. <laughs> so let's see, I think I took the darkest pink there was. Maybe not. I should have done the insides with that. And then I'll take this. And again, I'm no artist, so I'm not good at this. I'm just doing what feels right. All right. And now, of course, I'll go to a completely different color. Uh, let's do blue. Do the dark blue in here. And doing this is very, if you don't, overthink it then it's very relaxing <laughs> you know and my new thing this year is I'm trying really hard not to overthink things doesn't work I just finished a, a needle book based loosely because I'm not nearly as good as she is on Susie Q makes hi Susan and um ooh, I guess it was that one which one did I just use two seconds ago? Can't remember because I'm talking. And uh, I totally, it took days. I, I overthunk it, overthinked it. <laughs> yeah, what a mess. But it came out nice. So I am really trying to work on <laughs> not overthinking things. <laughs> Obviously, I failed. Oh. Um, I don't want that. I want different colors. Different colors. I should have started with the lighter colors first. But that's okay. Like. Yellow. So. Yeah, don't dunk your brush or your dauber or anything else into your coffee or tea. I have my tea here, but it's sitting over on the other table. I want it a little messier than that. Okay. See? Tea. Mm. <clears throat> Although it's decaf. I found that I can only have one cup of regular tea in the morning. <laughs> Otherwise, my heart is racing all over the place the rest of the day. And we don't need that. So I hope you guys will... Oh, that's the wrong color. <laughs> will embrace this and have some fun with it. And um, don't stress over what you have or don't have. Make it work for you. This, like I said, this is... We're, Carol and I are not the, um, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we're not the journal to inspire police. That's what I'm looking for. We aren't going to come scold you. We have scolded nobody yet. You, you got to do what works for you. I mean, we do want you to try and stay within the prompts. But if you do one page instead of three, so be it. If you think you're going to run out of pages, you probably won't. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the pages decorated so we can do other prompts. Because the other prompts are going to have things like, you know, make tags, make pockets. So don't fill all your pages with tags and pockets when you're decorating the pages. We want you to leave them without tags and pockets because that's coming later and see that covered up the ink but i think it's going to soak soak in anyway okay that's enough watercoloring <laughs> as far as i'm concerned that didn't do badly on that drawing paper it didn't soak through i mean the moisture soaked through but the paint really didn't i like that and i like the texture of it very pretty 
Okay, what else could I do? So watercolor inks, acrylic paints, I'm not pulling those out. Um, you know, I could have used my jelly plate, but I'm not um, on this one. Markers, colored pencils, stamps, pencils, spray pen, sprays and pens. Not pulling my sprays out this time because I've done that before. Let's see. I'm just letting these dry a little more. And let's see. Could we? Okay, and then you can use pens to outline with. Make sure I've got that cap on tight. Let's see. Bet you that's a bright pink. <laughs> so we could go in here. I don't think this is. Oh, it is. I was like, is are we working? Can you hear me now? That's only sort of part working. Probably because I'm doing it on wet paint, you know, not conducive to gel pens, right? That's pretty. I like that. See, and I've already used three things. I used a stamp. I used the watercolor and I used a gel pen. And I haven't even got done, you know, more than a few flowers yet. So there you go. So um, let's see what happens if I, sorry, I think I might have jiggled you. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this page here, even though that's not one of the ones that's marked for me to, and this paper is really easy to tear too, which means I have to be careful and not tear the wrong thing. Okay. And I could fussy cut this, which maybe I'll do. Maybe that'll work. So, staying on screen. Now, this would be nice torn, but you know, what the heck? We'll try this first. And I can always tear one of the other ones. And again, going for the loosely marked stuff, you could watercolor your background. And then if you're a good artist, draw on it. You could... I'm trying to work the shape here a little nicer. <laughs> this one too. Don't want, don't want to be too picky, but I do sort of want it outlining the petals. Now look how pretty that is. I mean, come on. You can't beat that, right? Okay, I think I'm going to tear this because this paper tears so nicely. Guess I said that before. Yeah, so don't forget to try and think out of your comfort zone. That's what this is all about. Doesn't mean you have ever have to use any of these methods again. But what if you do? What if you say, oh, you're you're in the middle of making a journal and you're like, I don't know, I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over again. What could I do differently? And how could I make this a little more special? And how can I do this, you know, this thing that I you know, I'm looking for, but I don't remember what it is. Well, go to your journal to inspire book and look through it. Maybe you'll find something from one of the prompts that you say, oh, I remember doing that. And it's not something I would normally do. So let's do it. 
I mean, that's what this is all about. We are trying to inspire you. We're trying to inspire each other. See, now I like that. <laughs> I'm kind of all about the messy and loose and... Um, Uh-oh. My pincushion bent my pin for my bottle. I was like, please come out. I already tested you once today. We've had to leave my little radiator heater on in my room because it's been really cold here in Virginia. And we've had some really crummy weather. So, there. And if I wanted to go over that with a little watercolor and pull that out onto the page, I'd be okay with that too. Of course, now i got to figure out what to do with two other pages. But if I didn't want to, I wouldn't have to because it's okay. We're not going to come beat you up for that. I really like these flowers. I'm going to do this again at some point. I just used all my ideas on, this, uh, on these three things, though. and muscle with that big piece of paper, huh? Now, it doesn't have to be flowers. It doesn't have to be nature. You can stamp words. You can stamp other things on there. It's a free-for-all. Yeah, just got to think, what do you like to do, and how can you change it up a little? There. Now I have a garden. And I like it. <laughs> okay, so I still have a pink one left. That might be, could used, boy, that was bad English. Maybe I could use that on another page. Where is my, there's my gessoed page. Now, do I dare? Do I dare? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I have this and I have these stamps. But I don't think anything there is going to work. Um, I have these stamps. Again, as you see, it's all flowers and nature -y stuff. Because that's how I roll. All right, Martha. Think outside the box. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go far outside my own box. That's for sure. Oh, put the pin back in the glue, Martha, until you decide what you're going to do. Okay. I do like having a pin cushion to put my pin in. Because then... I'm not forgetting to forgetting where I've put my pin because yeah. All right, what are we gonna do? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, let's pull out the distress crayons. I didn't put distress crayons in the listing, but they're water soluble. I don't want this set. I got all of mine at, um, sorry, reorganizing here. I got all of my sets at Tuesday morning, which you've heard me complain. They are no longer close enough by to, uh, really, for me to utilize anymore. All right. So I am going to, I just put some watercolor, I mean, um, distress crayon, which is wilted violet, into my little palette thing here. And I'm just going to go 
over my gesso. Probably could have used a bigger brush for this. Sorry, went quiet. Artist at work. <laughs> I like it. I don't have a lighter purple to mix it with, so let's see. Not mix it with, but you know, add onto the page with. And go with blue. <laughs> I guess I've used the blue a bit. I had to wind it up. I don't want to use too much because that was way too much in that one. Ready? So I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're enjoying the prompts. I hope you haven't bailed out yet. Um, oops, should have used more. <laughs> oh, Martha, you're such a twit. Can she make it work? I don't know. And if you have, if things are getting busy for you uh, for one reason or another in your life, good for you, first off. And if um, you, let's see, I think I'll go with yellow. I guess blue, yellow, and purple are my go-tos today, huh? And pink. Don't think I have a pink. I have something in here. Actually. It was a purple there. Uh, it's not the same purple. That's okay. This yellow definitely won't be enough. Um, you know, if if you're getting busy, it's a little muddy because my water is getting muddy. Yeah, that's not going to work very well. Let's see. Let's go with more of a gold. Um, you know, we understand. We're sad to see you not being, you know, active, but you can always catch up. When things settle down, we hope you'll come back and join us again. And, um, you know, and you can play catch up. You can start wherever we're at on the prompts. You don't have to go back. Uh, if you want to, that's great. We're happy to see it. Don't forget to post on the Facebook page, which will be linked below. In my last video for this, I was a little late posting the Facebook page. Uh, if you want to join in, you have to answer the questions on the Facebook page. And if you don't, you'll your request will be deleted and you'll have to re reapply <laughs> and answer the questions and say that you want to participate because that's what it's all about. We the page is there for the participants. So there, I like it. A little weird and crazy, but I like it. I could put, could go back and use some of this purple. Just put this on the edge. How fun is that? Looks like a ribbon. Use it up. Use it up. I guess I could take the paper clip off. Although I'll never find the page again when I go to show you what I did. Alrighty. Dry. <laughs> Let me put these away. Maybe that'll dry. And ooh, ooh, ooh. let's see if I can get uh, I'll put a bit of card under there. So when I am 
It's not dry. Dry off. So, let's see, where's the other page? See, I told you I'd have to go looking for it. <laughs> right? Yeah. What'd you do with Martha? There it is. And there's so much more I can do with that. I mean, really, come on. Yeah, no. But I'm just showing you the simple way. I mean, nothing that says it has to be long or complicated or detailed. It's just for ideas. This is your, your future idea book. Honestly, that's all it is. Um, I'm going to use my archival ink because I put the wet stuff down first and it doesn't stink. <laughs> and I'm going to see how this goes. Now, I've used this butterfly stamp over here. So I'm going with this over here. Uh, did, I put, did I put the card down? I know this is dry here. No, I didn't use a block. So we'll see how that comes out. There you go. And snip it off. I like that. Wow. I really inked this puppy up. <laughs> a lot coming off it still. Okay, and I want this on there. It says, out of limitations comes creativity. How appropriate. You know, you think you're limited, but you're really not. Look around. Look around your studio, your craft room, your space, whatever you like to call it, and see what's out there. Oh, this is still a bit wet. But we're going to go for it. There it is. <laughs> and you can see where it was wet still. <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. And it's not straight. Which is still okay. I gave up trying to be perfect a long time ago. Because all that did was make me frustrated and angry and all that kind of stuff. I'm just sort of waiting for this to dry before I know what else I'm going to add in. These are all Tim Hope stamps. This is a Seth Apter, but I'm not pulling that out. They're all a little grungier than I want, and they're not really what I'm looking for. So... So, I have these other stamps that are, again, florals. Sorry, people. <laughs> oh, I could still use that. I think it's mostly dry now. So, I have these florals, and I'm going to just, I'm not using the stems. I'm just going to use the flower part. As it wiggles and wobbles all over the place. Oh, that's pretty. Oops. It's okay. Oop, I smudged it. That's okay, too. <laughs> I accept my mistakes. That was better. I don't know why I keep putting this paper over there. I know I need to stamp it off on here. Just keep the paper near you, Martha. Makes life a lot simpler. Okay. Oh, my. Is that? Yeah. All right. What else do I want to use? Um, let's use this one. Maybe. Oh, I hate when you can't get them off the plastic. Obviously, the first time I've used this one. Sometimes I have to lick it to get it back, to stick back on there. First time use. Try 
not to wiggle wobble all over the place, Martha. Oh my. <laughs> I flipped it over by accident. Which side is down? And if I want to, I can always put a pocket on here. I don't have to keep it this way. It's our pages. We can do what we want. You don't like it in the end? Do something else with it. It's okay. Again, not going to come yell at you. <laughs> it's not what we want to do with this. Okay. Now this one doesn't have any way of holding on to it while I stamp it. So let's see if it'll stick to my block. Kind of amazed. Oops. Yeah. I think that's because there's you know, unevenness under it. <laughs> Move that down. I don't want to do it up here. Typical. But that's okay. It's art. And yes, I consider this art still. You may not. I do. That's what it's supposed to look like. When it's not sticking in places it's not supposed to. Or what I should say is when it's on a flat surface. That's what I meant. You know. Y you know what I mean, right? That goes there. What else do I have? Now that I'm on this roll. Oop, oop, come here. Oh, look, a leaf. Let's do a bunch of leaves. I didn't do any stems. It's not coming off. <laughs> Never used before. That's probably why. Well, I know that's why. Okay. Oh, I'm getting my fingers all in the sink. Okay. Alrighty, I'm done with that page. I'm happy with it. I like it. It's a good background for anything else I might want to do. And I could just sew over that if I wanted to. If you want to lighten it up, push it to the back a little to do something else on top, put a little gesso on it. My gesso is from Walmart and it's very oily. I have to stir it every time. It's very uh, light, and it has zero grit in it. It's a very cheap, uh, smooth... Um, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I got a big, huge tub of it, and I'm using it because I am all about trying to use the things I don't like so they don't sit here and not buy more of it because it's usable. It worked. It held that watercolor... Uh, very nicely. It stayed on the surface. Now the difference is when you do, where's that? When I painted this, you saw it sort of sunk into the paper because there was no gesso on this. This color stayed on top of the paper because there was a nice thick coat of gesso. I had to go over it a couple times, but there was a nice thick coat of gesso. Okay, so I did that one and I did, I keep forgetting it's back here and not up there that one. So those are two of my pages. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we're only at 40 minutes. Okay, so let's play. This is going over here. Let's play with this gessoed paper. What am I going to do with it? Let's see. All right, I can use uh, gesso, which I have, watercolor, inks, acrylic paint, markers, colored pencils, stamps, Pencils, sprays, pens. Martha's going to have a sip of tea. I almost feel like that's too limiting. <laughs> when 
when I looked at it initially, I felt like it was too much. And now it's almost too limiting because now what am I going to do? I did all that already. <laughs> I did the markers. I used a gel pen. I used watercolor. I used ink. I got my hands dirty. Uh, I didn't use markers or colored pencils, but I don't have those nearby. I used stamps, regular pencils, or charcoal pencils, whatever you've got. Sprays and pens. You know what? I think I'm going to have to pull out some sprays. All right. Talk amongst your shelves. And I'm right over here. Just going to pull out a couple of sprays, random colors. I just want to make sure that they're not too, not all brown. Because <laughs> that would be funny. Okay. Push the door in because they're sitting right next to my heater. I don't want them too close. I don't need sprays blowing everywhere. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Crinkling coming up. Close your ears. I don't like it. It's too noisy. All right. I'm going to try and keep it within the confines, but I know it's not going <laughs> to be that easy. All righty. So here's what I do. One of the things I do, just spray it every witch aware. And I always, you know, blot that. I don't think that helped though. I didn't I didn't shake it either. Silly girl. Alright. Alright. Oh, that's pretty. And it's gonna drip. Look at we added bonus. Added bonus, we have drip. We have drippage. And you know what else you can do with that? If I could get it to bend. Okay. The little hole. Can't remember which one I used now. Can't remember if it was the old one or the new one. This one's ancient, like ancient. It says handcraft house on it. I don't even know where I got this one or when. Ooh, that's the one I didn't use yet. Yay. And the hole is a little clogged. You can see how it's not coming out in a real spray here. Okay. Whatever you do, <laughs> let me tell you a funny that I did. Um, I was trying to unclog one of these holes one day. I don't think it was a glimmer mist. I think it was a Tim Holtz one. I can't remember though, but I stuck up, like I did it sideways, stuck a pin in it, in the hole, and it was fine. And then I turned it around to look at it. And I did not spray the bottle, but the darn bottle sprayed right in my face. I guess the thing, the pressure inside of it, maybe, I, I have no clue. But, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, and let's see. Here's... Oopsies, some of this drawing paper I have left over. Sort of blot. Because we have excess here, as you can see. I love my sprays. I love all color. And I've done several grungy uh, journals. And they are sitting in my <laughs> in my Etsy shop. Nobody wants to claim them at this point. So I don't know what's going to happen to them. But I think it's time to make one or two happy journals. And see what happens with spring coming up. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, 
I want something in these white spots there. I wonder if I need a different color though. What should I go for? Uh-oh. I'm getting in my way, buddy. Sorry. Wanna go out? Come on. Poor Evan cannot decide whether he wants to be in or out. Uh, here. Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz peeled paint. They say you're not supposed to turn them upside down. I don't know why this one has writing on the bottom. Do they all have writing on the bottom? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Ready? That came out quite aggressively. I wish um, he still or Ranger or whoever makes the decisions. I'm not crazy about the green in the middle of that, but I'm going to go with it. Because <laughs> when you get done, it's not going to be... Now, that's kind of cool. I almost like that better than that. But when you get done with this, what you do is you stamp on it, you draw on it, you know? But it's wet. It's really... It is wet. And this was the gessoed 24 pound copy paper. So we're gonna play with these two sheets maybe. Hold on, I'm trying to dry them by shaking them through there. Um, what was I saying? I forgot now. I hope you're not in Texas where uh, power has been out for I don't know what, a week or two now? I feel so sorry for those people. If you're one of them and you're watching this later in the year, I am so sorry if you've had to go through that. It's just, there's no excuse for that happening in our country. I mean, we are not a third world country for goodness sakes. Okay. All right. So I only did an example of that one. So I'm going to use... A sharpie this is a fine point sharpie and I'm gonna do this one first it's still wet as well and this is the drawing paper but uh, yeah I feel really badly for everyone that's going through this horrible horrible experience you know it there's just no reason for it now if I thought I could draw a butterfly I would do that but I can't <laughs> butterflies are my absolute all-time favorite and I, I just can't so all right, so we're going to go here, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go around here and do this. And for those of you that have been lucky enough to get the vaccination, I hope you are not having many ill side effects. I have a couple of friends that have had a few side effects that were not pleasant. Um, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Okay, so there's that. Again, the marker stinks, but, you know, should have used my other marker. Now, this one's a tad bit hard to see. I, I realize that. So, there's that one. I'm getting very warm in my studio here. 
That little heater puts out quite the heat. There. And there's those two. I like it. All right. Let's see. I hate my own drawing, as you know. <laughs> but that's okay. We're, we're going to go with it. And the more like irregular, I think the better it looks. Like I love carnations that have like really roughly edges on them. So for me, that works. I can tell some of this paint still a tad bit wet on here. I'm trying to think of my page. That's what I'm thinking of. So try not to overthink. Evan is getting his lunch. He gets a breakfast, lunch, and dinner because he doesn't like to eat a lot in the mornings. Now, he's older and he never did this before, but you have to recognize how your animals change through the years and what they prefer. And since we spoil ours, <laughs> always have, always will. I like that one just like it is. I'm not going to overdo it. Okay. Now, the green I'm leaving. I'm not I'm not crazy about the green. I think what I'm going to do is I kind of wish I hadn't added it now. It's a really nice color and other things, but see, if I shrink this page down, I can sort of uh, see less of it, and it helps me. This marker's not happy with me right now. Now see that one I did outside in. Never did that before. Just stretching my limits. Yeah, we had um, we had ice and snow here. Well, we had snow, then we had ice, then we had more snow and more ice. <laughs> um, so it's been a little weird out, uh, but we are doing okay. Knockwood have not lost power, and next week it's going to be in the fifties. At least that's what the experts say and all I can say is yahoo <laughs> I am very happy this is very freeing I have to say Abstract flowers. And if you're used to going in one direction, go the other direction. Like I'm used to going clockwise, go counterclockwise. You get different shapes. <laughs> Don't ask me why. 
It's the way your brain works. Okie dokie. I like it. Where's my book? Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this, where was it? This page here. And I am, I'm going to tear it right here. I'm tearing away from the part I want to keep that I'm going to use right now. So see, the white edge came out on this part, which I can always deal with later. I'm going to put this, that's a little pocket right there. Not exactly what I wanted. I think I'm just going to stick with this. I'm going to put it right there. And you'll still be able to put stuff in the pocket. That's a pretty pretty tight pocket, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, I did not have any of this planned out. So, well, I did take the stamps and stuff out. And I did look through my watercolor book to get, in some, get inspiration. But uh, other than pulling the stamps out, the watercolors out, um, I didn't pull the distress crayons out. I pulled them out and put them back. You see, I didn't use my pincushion for my pin. Um, but then I ended up using them. So never discount what's possible. I think this needs to go way in there in order for this to Don't close that up. All right. It's nice to see your own artwork. Now, I don't art journal, so that's not my forte. This is about as close as I come to doing anything. <laughs> I don't know why this is in here. I think I was going to make a card for that and didn't. I don't think this edge is sticking here. So it's not just the glue stick. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go over stuff more than once, even with a, a wet glue. So there it is. Those are the prompts in my version of what I wanted to do. So this is one page, right? And this is my second page, which was gessoed, watercolored, and stamped only. And then this page I did on a separate piece of paper and it was not gessoed, it was just watercolored and stamped and some gel pen here. And I could still go at it with, um, I'm not going to right now, because it's buried. <laughs> Trust me, it's buried. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it could be, but I just buried the gel pen. So there it is. Those are my three for this prompt. I hope I haven't been out, out of screen this whole time. If I have, I'm going to cry. Um, so there it is. I hope you like them. Uh and have fun with it. Just have fun with it. Don't stress. And I hope I've been working up here a lot. I hope I have not been out of screen the whole time. So go journal, be inspired, have some fun, play with your colors, pull out some pens. I'm not throwing those away. <laughs> no reason to. I can use those in collage or whatever. And there's some more and there's some more. And how fun is all of that to use later on in some collage. And I might just play with these and it can close up. There's another one. And why not? Have fun, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. I love you all. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, it doesn't cost you anything. Hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it very much. Love you. Happy crafting. Stay well. Be well. Love you all. See you on the flip side. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.